So how do you repair carpet bubbles and get paid part two? In this video, I'm gonna break it down for you. What's good, it's Carpet Mike here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com and yes, we got another case of some super loose carpet. We are gonna walk you through how to fix it in this one. And if you're an installer viewing this, I'm gonna share with you how to get paid, but we took a slightly different approach on this deal here. So first things first, we got the wall pull pulled back where the bulk of the sagginess is. We're reinforcing all this tack strip with long sinker nails because we're gonna use that crab stretcher to go ahead and knock it out of the park. Drag all that slack across the room, and get everything tightened up. Now, when you're setting your sinker nails in, set them about you know six to eight inches apart from each other. Don't gap them too much because the whole purpose of them is to be sure that when you throw that crazy stretch on it, the tack strip doesn't come flying out of the ground and you gotta redo everything. So you want it nice and tight, down and ready to rock. So when you pull it, it's gonna hold. Now we're gonna wrap up at this corner right here. We're gonna bring the crab stretcher out. We're gonna go ahead and start tightening this bad boy up. Now if you're an installer watching this and you're wondering how to get paid doing this, now I dropped a video, I believe it was earlier today or yesterday, on how to do this and get paid. Now this particular deal was a job that I sold and we installed today, but they said, hey, we got these carpets over here that are all bubbling, can you take care of that? And on this particular deal, I know this family has a huge family, they're small business owners in the area, they're very well connected. I said, no problem, you know what, we're just gonna take care of all that while we're here. Now, I easily could have tacked another $150 onto the tab, but when you go ahead and add a bonus service on top of a service you already sold the client, they're gonna be loving you, you're gonna be fresh in their mind, and they will absolutely put your name out to the marketplace and keep you busy. So like I said, on this particular deal, you're getting paid, but you're getting paid in referrals. And those are some of the best leads out there. Why? Because when someone tells a friend you're amazing, you don't even have to sell them when you show up. You just gotta show up. And that's kinda hard for carpet guys. They don't even show up for work most times. But if you already had the in, the good warm lead there, you just gotta show up and grab that bag. You know what I'm saying? So that's how we approach this one. Any other case, you can go ahead and easily add on $100, $150 because there is a room and a hallway that we had tightened up on this deal. And we're gonna break this down in a couple different segments so you know how to do repairs. But that's all there was to it. Lock the crab stretcher onto the tack strip, pull all that slack across the room. You see me kick it up while I was running my mouth right there. Locked it onto the tack strip. Now we're taking our blade and just trimming it right in, tucking it to the wall, and we are good to go. I'm going to drop a video tomorrow showing that when you have so much slack that you have to pull it all towards one seam, break the seam, and put that seam back together, how to go ahead and do that. So that will drop later tonight, tomorrow, something or other. But look at this here. Also, don't be cutting on white baseboards like that unless you're me. I got that magic touch where you never see my lines. Everybody else, get that big ugly line. Fold it back, take your time, trim the carpet, and then tuck it in with a linoleum knife. We'll drop a video showing exactly how to take care of that as well so you can go ahead and know all the strategies. I'm trimming and tucking carpet. I can't believe a topic that is so lame we can create so much content out of. But I appreciate you tuning into this and we try to keep it entertaining. The doorway right behind me there, that's where I got to seam everything together. So that's going to be in the video next. I pulled all that slack up there. I created a massive wave in that doorway and then the hallway opposite of that we created a huge wave as well. So I'm going to show you how to split that get rid of that excess, and then go ahead and seam it right back together. But as always, I truly appreciate you tuning into this. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on that next video.